Hello, it's Keith here. Now we've got a special video today because my YouTube channel has just gone over 1,000 subscribers. So firstly I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who subscribed and also everyone who watches the videos because over the last year I've really seen the number of views and the total view time really increase. Now, as a bit of a sort of thank you, and maybe this will be interesting to other people who are using YouTube or are thinking of using YouTube, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over all of the statistics and maybe just talk a bit about what I've kind of seen on there so that maybe you'll find it interesting to see how a little channel like mine grows and what kind of things have made it increase over the time. And, you know, maybe you'll find it exciting, maybe you won't. I'll also talk a bit about what I've got planned next because I've got plans for the rest of this year and also for next year. Although obviously at this stage they're a bit premature. But as I say, I really wanted to sort of do something a little bit special just to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed and watching my videos. And of course, everyone who's subscribing on Patreon as well. I do have a Patreon account, but I do want to say I, I don't want anyone to think they have to subscribe to my Patreon account. I, I tend to take suggestions and requests from the patrons, but it's always my intent to make my educational content free because it's my opinion that money shouldn't be a limiting factor when it comes to learning something new and being able to practice something that you've never done before. When I grew up, I always got a lot of old computers and software provided for me and it was because of that and because of magazines and things that I was able to learn programming. And I wanted to try and give people the ability to learn to program and learn new things. And I don't think that that money should be a requirement in that really for people to learn things. So as I say, the content will always be free and I don't want people to think that I, I want, I'm pushing people to join on Patreon, I'm not at all. So let's have a look at what's been going on on my YouTube channel and we'll see what the statistics have been showing over the last couple of months because I think it's possibly quite interesting for people. So I'm currently on YouTube Studio Beta, which is really no better than the old one, but we have to use it now, so uh, let's have a look. So. I've got my videos here. Now, Now the way I'm doing things is, is I'm releasing the videos in a continuous way. You see, YouTube only tends to um, promote the videos heavily for about two days when they are in the very recent period and the, they're shown as new for a week. So you really want to release your videos at regular intervals. So I'm currently releasing four a week, but you'll see I've got some unlisted ones here. And these are ones that have been given to the patrons already, but they will be released to everyone else in you know a few weeks maybe, or a few days, just depending on where they are in the queue. Now, I'm still doing the 68000 and 6502 assembly tutorials, but they're a bit on pause at the moment because the topics I need to cover now are quite advanced and I don't really feel I can do them well yet. So I've started doing the platform specific series which is now available to the patrons. You can see here I've got a wide variety of videos waiting to go and a, live, a wide variety that are already live. Now what's more interesting though is going to be the analytics. So let's see how it's looking today. Now, for reasons not clear, I've seen a bit of a drop off over the last day or two. Um, I was wondering if the algorithms had changed. You're always very, very... Um, you're always at the mercy of the Google algorithms. A lot of your views, a lot of my views and everyone's views are based on what Google recommends, you know, the, the video playlist of suggested stuff on the right hand side. So if it works in your favor, you get a load of extra ones. And if it doesn't, you get very little. I do get some views from my website and CPC Wiki as well brings quite a lot in. But uh, as I say, generally speaking, it's very much the other way. My website gets, uh, let's say my website gets 500 hits from Google. It'll also get about 250 from YouTube. YouTube is bringing 50% of the hits compared to Google. So it's very important for bringing traffic to my website itself. I'm not currently able to monetize my channel, so we've got no money there. Uh, I've got 167 subs over the last month, which is a record from the month. My sub count has been going up over the last couple of months. And that's especially thanks to a few people who've been sharing my videos and things. My view count just went over 8K for the first month today. I, I don't think it's ever hit 8K before. It's been around 7 for a little while. And the watch time is very near 40K. It's never reached 40K. So again, that's a monthly, re that's a record, I think, for this month. Uh, you can see the views are up and down quite erratically. I really see new video about every three days. So you, you always get a spike because of the new video releases and things. So um, uh, that's this spike here was the new video. But as I say, you look, I, I get around 10, 15 views an hour at the moment. It's a bit erratic. I can't really give an exact estimate. You can see the Learn 6502 video is very popular at the moment. I'm not quite sure why. The 68,000 video, not doing so well. Don't know why that is. The more interesting thing is the Z80 video, that's a year old. And the Game Boy video, that was only, um, I only created that as a bit of a sort of passing thing. I never expected it to be popular, but it's getting it's getting a lot of views. It's regularly very popular. So I'm not quite sure why that is. But um, anyway, let's have a look in more detail. 
So here you can see the impressions, which is the number of times the video has been suggested to people on YouTube. And I've got a click through rate here. Now, I only re recently started looking at this and I've been trying to improve my thumbnails a little bit to see if it helps. I haven't initially seen any benefit to that, but logic tells me it should work. And I know from my own usage, I click on videos if the thumbnail looks good. And I've even seen people on other videos comment that they've only clicked on videos because it's got a very, very good thumbnail. So um, that's something I'm experimenting with, but I, I, I'm a bit unclear on that anyway. But uh, you can see here, this is the number of views it's been, this is the number of times it's been offered to people, this is the click-through rate, and this is how many views it's had, and that's the minutes that people have viewed it. Now let's switch back to YouTube Classic because I, I'm really struggling with this new one. I, I, it seems like everything is harder to use or just missing. So um, here's the average view duration. Now I'm at 4 minutes 53 at the moment. Um, you can see that that's slightly down. My current is, about, is slightly down over what it's been earlier in the month. But um, around five minutes is unfortunately what I get a view on my channel. Now my average video is 20, 30 minutes, so that's not so good. But um, from what I gather, I think that's pretty average. I think most people's views, I think most people's videos get relatively short view times, unfortunately. But um, anyway, you can see that that's currently up. My um, total watch time's up. My views is up. I can't monetize. Um, I get very occasional dislikes and pretty much all my videos don't get any, maybe one or two here and there. Nothing really I can make sense of, you know, I, I, it, it, I've not seen any signs that any of my videos particularly were unpopular, but um, anyway, as I say, the shares, there was a huge spike here, but uh, it's very difficult to judge quite what Google considers to be a share, because at one point I thought I was getting quite a few shares and then I realised they were probably all just me linking my own videos on my website but um, obviously it, it has had a spike there that's definitely not me and occasionally from time to time you will see a few people obviously um, start sharing it and it, it goes a bit popular and videos in playlist as well I, I do share my own videos in my own playlist but I know a few other people are sharing them I have seen that and of course I really appreciate that the likes my videos get reasonably decent likes I, I don't really know what good and bad likes are but you know, as I say I get very very few dislikes so all of the likes are a bonus really very happy with that I get quite a few comments as well um, I always try and reply to them although unfortunately um, recently I converted from a personal account to a brand account here and it's deleted all of the original comments which certainly wasn't my intention but that's why they're gone um, I had tried to put some quite informative stuff in there but it's all gone now but if people reflag the old comments I will put the com put the information back again as I say it certainly wasn't my intention to delete the comments all my views come from the US and the UK at the moment generally speaking and um, few from Europe but, but that's very much the case 100% male bit bit surprised about that I knew it would be very high but that seems a bit ridiculous um, you can see here YouTube search is about a quarter Browse and channel is about a quarter, and other is 42%. I think a lot of that's my website and external search engines and things. Possibly, let's click, see if we can get some more on that. Oh, so only 8.5% is actually external according to this. Oh, that's surprising somewhat. Um, anyway, so there we go. So let's have a look at the subscriber growth then. And let's change this. Let's see a custom range. Okay, so this is almost all time statistics. Now, I set up my YouTube account many years ago, but I didn't really use it for the first couple of years. I think I might have done an early demo of Chibi Akamas and there was a video of my um, rotary controller, but it didn't really have anything worth mentioning. So you can see this is pretty much the entire life of my YouTube channel. Now this spike here, this, this is the start of my tutorial series. So you can see really I gained nothing before the tutorial series started. I think maybe this was the one of the Chibi Akamas games here, I'm not sure. But um, around here, this is where the new Chibi Akamas games landed. You can't really see any change here. Surprising, but, but the big change is of course here. Now this is where I've started the 68,000 and 6502 tutorials. The vast majority of my recent growth has been because of the new tutorial series and of course the Grime series. But um, you can see I've, I've gained over a thousand subscribers. I've lost 84, which is only to be expected. People are gonna lose interest over a long period of time. That's perfectly understandable. So let's have a look at some of the other statistics. Okay, so I've changed this view to show the entire period that my YouTube channel has been running as well. So you can see that the watch time has again progressed in very much the same way as the subscribers has and the views as well they all pretty ma pretty much match now this big peak here 
is when the multi-platform version of Chibi Acumas came out. But you can see that quickly died off and then we've been back to a sort of level and it's just gone up gradually here. And it's quite noisy in places and that's people sharing the videos and things, things outside of my control because they, they do bring big boosts in but it tends to be very short lived. Quite interestingly, my website was recently mentioned on the Y Combinator Hacker News website, which is quite big, and it got 3,000 views overnight, but they all disappeared after two days, and virtually none of them visited the YouTube channel, which is really quite baffling to me, but um, as I say, you can see it's been increasing quite nicely, but the challenge is really continuing the videos from now. Basically, the way I'm doing my videos at the moment is I'm making videos all the time. If I finish a video at lunchtime on a Saturday, I start making the next video that afternoon. That is researching the next content, documenting the source code for the next video, writing the text for the next video. It's really a constant cycle. I've got lots and lots of source code I'm planning to do. I've got lots of documentation ready for the videos. So it, for me to release three or four videos a week, I have to work seven days a week to make the videos to get the content ready to research the new content because I can't miss any of that out. I can't just finish all the videos I've got ready because then I'll have no videos for next week. I can't just ignore learning new stuff and just work on the stuff I know because I'll end up with nothing that I know to create any more videos. So the point I'm trying to make is it really is a serious motivating factor to see how many people seem to be enjoying my videos and it's that that allows me to continue the very intense working procedures that I'm doing at the moment because I'm spending all of my time that I'm not writing my new game. I've got a new game planned. There's going to be a, a completely different game. It's nothing like Chibi Akamas. It's called Chibi Aliens, but um, I'm not going to discuss it anymore yet because it's in really early stages. But I'm spending a few hours a week working on that. But then I'm spending some time on the 6502 tutorials, some time on the 68000 tutorials, some time on the Z80 tutorials. I'm also doing the Learn Z80 with Chibi Akuma series where I'm documenting the old source code. I try to add subtitles to one of my existing videos this week as well on top of that. And then on top of that, I'm actually researching new projects for next year because I want to expand my series to cover the 6809, which is the Vectrex, the FM7 and the Dragon computers. They all use that processor and it's a really interesting processor. I'm also planning to do the 8086 next year on MS-DOS. So I'm having to learn new things for a year's time because if I don't start learning them now, I won't have time to get good at them to start covering them when I start running out of content on the systems I'm already covering. And that's what I need to do to continue the growth of the channel. And I'm also always experimenting with new things. Um, I, I've been doing the backer versus retro where I try and repair computers. And uh, it's, it's always just a question of, I, I can't spare lots and lots of time to do things because I'm always doing them in the spare time I have during the day. Because of course, you know, it's a tiny channel. I, I work during the day and it's, and it's that that allows me to sort of buy the hardware that I'm using for this. For this, I've bought a lot of new microphones and I've got video cameras now that I hadn't got before. So um, it's, it kind of always has to be in the spare time and it is very limited and you know it does restrict me in what I can try and do and how good I can make the videos. I'm hoping in a couple of years I'll be better at producing videos and I'll be able to do better editing and I'll be able to plan them better but at the moment I'm really doing them to the best of my ability. So one other thing I want to show you is this that might be interesting to you. Now so here's the monetization status of my channel. I can't earn any money off my channel you see because it's just too small. I'm, I've just gone over the subscriber limitation, you need a thousand subscribers, but I've only got 3,400 views. So it's not possible for me to enable monetization on the channel anyway at the moment. Now if I do enable monetization on the videos, I'm planning to make it as unobtrusive as possible. I'm not a fan of these videos that make you watch an advert before the start of the video. It really annoys me and it puts me off watching the videos. So what I'm planning to do is just use the more minor pop-ups and things and maybe just put if I do put any of those kind of forced watch videos put them at the end of the video or very close to the end so that it's only the people who are actually watching the content that have to put up with the video but it's completely irrelevant at the moment because it's not even an option to monetize the channel and as I say and it would only make probably about five dollars a month so uh, with the size of the channel it's not going to make any difference to my financial status or um, what you know what I can invest in the channel and to be honest I'm really investing as much as possible in the channel anyway because you know this is nowadays the YouTube channel is my main hobby in the sense that I'm using the YouTube channel to sort of promote my programming hobbies and my programming hobbies are following what works well on YouTube so they're becoming one and the same hobby if you see what I mean so um, 
Anyway, I hope you found this interesting if you are someone who's not used YouTube or is just a very early user of it or is thinking of using it. Uh, I found it very um, enjoyable and really quite encouraging. My impression of YouTube was that there was a lot of negativity on it. Um, you know, we got a lot of trolling comments and things. And that's not something I've ever come across. You know, you, you get the odd comment that's maybe a little bit confused, like they haven't really bothered watching the video or something. But the vast, vast majority of them are extremely positive and really, I really couldn't expect any more from people for their positive feedback on the site. I've had a lot of people say things like that my assembly videos are the best assembly videos on the internet or that they were amazing and they've really helped people and no one else's has been as good, which really when I started doing these videos I was more in the state of mind of, well, I'm not really that good a programmer, I don't know if I can actually teach people things. It, it was really me trying to say, well, I'm not a very good programmer, but I can manage to do the odd thing that's quite enjoyable. Maybe maybe you should give it a go as well. And these are the things that help someone like me who struggles with this kind of thing understand it. Maybe if I tell you the same things, it'll help you. So as I say, it's really quite humbling to hear those kind of comments and it's a real pleasure to get them. And it does really give me the um, encouragement to keep going and keep trying to make this channel bigger and better tomorrow. So anyway, if you've got to this 20 minute point, you've obviously beaten the average five minute viewer. So well done for that. Thanks for watching today and goodbye.